Hey kids, it's Pastor Jared here with another God's Creature feature. And today, guess what we got? It's a little caterpillar. He's orange and black. Look at that. He's in a ball right now because he's in my hand. But let's see if I can get a better shot of him out. So today, kids, we are learning about the caterpillar. And, you know, every caterpillar has its own special name of the type of species it is. Well, this one is a woolly bear and it's really cool. I like it because it's fuzzy and it looks like a bear color. I like the black and orange. It's a good combo. It's, it's a really pretty caterpillar. Fast moving on my hand right now, but woolly bears, um, they are found in the United States, southern Canada, and Mexico. And they're actually caterpillars of the Isabella tiger moth. Can you say that with me? Isabella tiger moth. And so it, it turns into a beautiful moth that's nice orange color and it's got these black dots on its back and i'll show you a picture right now so that moth um well we're not talking about the moth itself right now but we're talking about what it is before which is the woolly bear and uh, the caterpillars they'll settle into a secluded sites underneath fallen logs or among rocks usually in April or May, they can be found in bark or rocks or crawling along the ground looking for some fresh things to eat. And sometimes they've enclosed themselves in dark colored oval cocoons. So when they're in a cocoon, guess what? They're going through something that is awesome that God has made. It's metamorphosis. And it's where they turn into that beautiful moth. So basically they enclose themselves and have a complete body change and it's it's so amazing how god made creatures to do that i, I just love that and actually metamorphosis is um is really referenced for us because uh, it's talking about how we were turned into new creatures in christ jesus while being transformed uh, the word for transformed into new creatures in Christ is metamorphosis. So it's what these creatures go through. It's a complete change, which is, it's amazing. But what they feed on is, um, they feed on plants, really any plant that has chlorophyll, which is green, you know, has, has this stuff that makes it green. Um, you know, it likes violets, clovers, dandelions, nettles, sunflowers really plants a lot of plants that it can find garden herbs spinach greens cabbage um, but they stay mostly on the ground they will they will sometimes feed on trees uh, preferring the leaves of maples or elms or birch but anyways they the behavior of them is interesting and god made them able to freeze completely solid in the winter during hibernation and that's so amazing because usually if you freeze solid you die but god made these creatures where they uh they produce this chemical okay it's called cryoprotectant it's an exciting chemical word and it acts as an antifreeze that protects their body tissue and organs from being damaged so while they're frozen like an ice cube, they're still protected by this. And uh, when spring arrives, the woolly bear thaws out and will be active again. And then goes and searches for food. And there are two generations of woolly bears each year. The second generation is the one that's most noticed in the fall. And they cross the roads looking for places under dead plants to breeze where they will spend their winter as a larva and spring they feed briefly before changing into a cocoon and turning into a moth which is very amazing god is such a cool creator and 
What a what a cool creature. Wouldn't it be amazing if you could just freeze for an entire winter, turn into an ice cube, and then come back to life again in the summertime? <laughs> well, God designed these creatures, and he is just such an awesome God. We'll see you next week. Bye, kids.